Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers, and it's September, so we must be doing our September daily. Today I'm doing day number four, and um, this is Mr. Black, who is getting very chunky already. We're only done three days, so um, yeah, I'm not sure. We've got some contenders here as to t what to tell him shot with. I'd like for you to vote. Here's contender number one. Okay, silk to time shut. Here's contender number two to time shut. Okay. Here's contender number three to time shut. So I would like you to vote one, two, or three to see which one you think would uh, look the best to tie Mr. Black shut. I guess I should do it this way. So this is three, this is two, and this is one. These are silks that I have long enough. Of course, this part right here would all be cut off. So we've got that. Alrighty, in the end would be cut off. All right, so those are the three contenders and I would like you guys to vote and I will take your votes into consideration. Nothing is binding. <laughs> I haven't decided, but I would like your input. All right, so this is our cover page. This is page one. This is page two. This is page three. And now we're on page four. Now, page four, I'm doing um, pretty much as Miss Paint-A-Lot did hers, this 30-day um, uh, book, uh, page a day, I guess you would call it, um, is um, I'm following a series by Miss Paint-A-Lot. A link uh, to her YouTube channel is below, and um, she's doing it this way. She's rolling a die. There's uh, six uh, designers, and each one can only be used five times, because 30 days. So she rolls the die the day ahead of time. So at the end of video three, she rolled the die for day four. So day four came out to be the journal boat, and the kit ended up being blue memento, okay? And the um, uh, prompt for today is stamping. All right, so um, I really forgot about it being stamping when I did the um, the layout for this. So when you get to the stamping part, then um, I will figure something out, okay? All right, so we'll set this to the side. What this page is, is a lot of paper. I did ink this ahead of time. This is the page paper that's going to go on the page in Mr. Black. And then we're going to build off of this part of the page. Um, actually, we're going to build off of this part because it's the thicker when you get the two glued together. So we might go ahead and glue these two together. Um, they're the only ones I've been able to ink. All the other ones we have to cut as we go. So there's going to be a large belly band. There's going to be two pockets on the f or two flaps on the front of the belly band. These were pockets I had decided on, but I think the easiest way to do stamping would be to um, use the uh, back side of the pockets, possibly, um, and uh, back them. No, the easiest way would be to anyway. I'll think of something. And these are the writing cards, papers that are gonna go in the pockets. So maybe I will make two cream colored pockets and um, stamp uh, some flowers onto them in um, the uh, blue or the ink that we're gonna use. And the color that we're gonna use today is antique linen. We're going to be using magnets today. We're also going to be using glue, obviously, scissors, pencil. We're going to use mask or scotch tape. Uh, feel free to use whatever brand you want. I don't think they have scotch tape in the UK. Um, 
This is just a little extra ephemera. This kit comes with a ton of ephemera, but I only needed to cut out the pocket page. So this is a, what else is on the pocket page. Okay, so that's over there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to move some of this stuff out of the way. Need our glue right away and we're gonna need our ink. I wrote ink on every one of these so that I uh, would remember to ink them. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. And I'm doing mine in cream. She's doing hers in black. Because I'm just the rebel. <laughs> And once again, I wish I had filled my ink and or thinned my ink. I mean, glue. I keep saying ink. Whenever I'm gluing and I say the word ink, then um, what I'm really saying is um, glue. <laughs> and we're going to have lots of paper clips as well. I highly recommend paper clips. The large ones, you don't want to leave marks. I don't use the plastic coated ones. I don't feel like they open far enough. So we're only going to get part of this done. Um, it's probably going to take three parts um, to get this done. All right, let's see. Does this have a top or a bottom? You know, I kind of feel like this is the top. So let's glue this on here. It's going to be a border all the way around of the cream. But I'm thinking we need this on here first because we're going to build on this and then we're going to, um, you know, I may have measured against the paper though. No, oh, that should be big enough. Okay. If I had to recut all that, I would be angry. Some of it may need to be recut. I'm not sure. Okay, so the belly band, you know, I'm not really sure why I did it this way and didn't just cut out the paper. Hmm. Let's use these as, uh, oh, I know why, because the papers were not tall enough. Oh, no, I'm doing this one this way. All right, so let's use this as a template. Part of this is going to be bent over. Because if we back everything, which is what I was going to do, Oh yes, I'm going to do that because I'm leaving a little bit of a border on each one. So we're going to want this to be here and here. I'm sorry, we want it down the bottom. I want the bottom part of the collage. I like it better. Okay. Oh look, it looks like we can go right across these numbers. I don't you want it to be even on the top and the bottom, and you want the edge to be even so that when you mark where you want to cut. You want to mark just a little bit inside. Um, my brain is not working today. I'm going to line this up like this and um, move it over. And then mark this just a little bit inside. And I'm going to mark this just a little bit inside. And then mark this just a little bit inside. 
You'll have to excuse my voice. Lost my voice again. As usual. <laughs> now we've left extra on the edges of the belly band so that we can fold it under. Now um, this belly band is 7 inches wide and whatever the height of your paper is plus a half an inch so that you've got or plus an inch so you've got a half an inch on the top and the bottom. I may have measured mine wrong but there's definitely enough to fold over as far as the height. Okay so let's cut this. I guess I'm just going to use all these as templates and erase what I wrote on them and use them in other pages. All right so we've got this line here Then we're going to use this here. I think I just cut this a little bit inside and a little bit inside. So let's use the cream color paper and make a border around each one. I like that idea. That's the way Miss Paint-a-Lot does it with her, um, with the black. There's a little border around, so I'm going to do mine with a little border around, only in the cream. So it's too long. Oh, I did a little bit of a border around the outside because I'm not thinking straight because I got myself confused. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. And I'm saving all these pieces for my collage for the end. So I'm going to have all kinds of different papers um, because of all the different pages. Like sewing papers and music papers and collage papers and all kinds of papers. I ordered some music paper from this really great online shop. And hopefully we will. I'll give you that link if I get it in time. I should to finish these papers and if I use it. All right. Now, you know what the problem with this is? Once again, it's a belly band. So it's going to fold. You know, I really don't want mine um, as loose. So let's mark where we want to score it. We want to score it here. And we want to score it here. Yeah, I left it looks like a quarter of an inch on either side. That will make it tighter, which is what I want. No, it is a half. What is up with, oh, it's not directly on a line. There we go. The reason I'm flipping it over is it's difficult to do over there. Let's move 
this out just a little bit. Sorry, I'm a little bum-fuzzled today. I thought I was thinking, but I wasn't. So now guess what we have to do? We're going to have to trim this paper again. We're going to fold this. my grandma would say it's a bit of a kerfuffle isn't it funny how older people had these words they didn't use curse words because they were bad but if you use the same word for the same thing then isn't it doesn't it become a curse word I'm just asking. So now all we have to do is trim the length. Because the width is still going to be all right. I have to remember that all the way around. Couldn't find my mark there for a minute. Okay. And I almost forgot to ink everything. I'm going to try to get the other sections done quicker. I just forgot about my measurements on my belly band. I'm going to have to remember that on the sides as well. This isn't that dark. I just didn't want to go for a uh, vintage photo again. Everybody's been going for a vintage photo. And um, this is a nice uh, greenish brown. It's sort of like... Um, bundled sage if you want a comparison it gives us a little bit of an edge but not too much now I could have um, just made the belly band out of this paper if you don't want that little border around yeah, the little border that needs to be inked. Because I'm doing it in cream. If you're doing it in black, you can save yourself all of this extra inking. Like I said, I can't ink it until I cut it. So you're going to have to watch me ink trying to do it as quickly as possible. on here so I'm going to kind of open this up just oh, maybe not okay you want to make sure to always cover your ink if you brush your paper across your ink then uh, it becomes inked I bought these at Dollar Tree for a dollar each. They work out really well. 
use one per project. Now for this kind of project, <clears throat> I'm just using it for the collage pieces. And while we're switching over to a new video, which will be an instantaneous break for you, it'll be a couple minutes for me, I'm going to um, refill the glue. Now, our belly band is going to go this way on the page. So we want to make sure, well, we only have one way to do our paper. But um, I decided to make the belly band a little more busy and the background a little more plain. I love this collage page, page in this kit. Okay, now we're going to take the page, we're going to glue the belly band to it, so it's going to go right across here, and I measured it to the paper, no I didn't, yes I did. I'm going to rescue the paper. I'm going to put you on hold and redo the belly band, which is going to be a little bit longer than the current one. And then I'm going to refill the glue and um, then we'll go from there. I apologize for the mistake and um, everybody makes mistakes. And so don't freak out if you make one. Okay. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Things have changed. Um, the things that have changed are only the size of the belly band and um, that's it. So what I did, because I had a heck of a time and I didn't want to keep doing it over and over on camera and I don't know why I had a heck of a time. I was tired. It was uh, late for me for, to be working last night and um, I got a lot of other issues on my mind which I'm not going to go into. So you're going to measure the height of the page. Excuse me. I make my own Febreze. And um, <laughs> I made it a little strong. Now my throat's kind of like going, no. Anyway, but at least my voice is back better than the first part of the video. Um, so what you do is you measure from the top to the bottom and then you add an inch then you score it a half an inch at the top and a half an inch at the bottom just like when we do the envelope stacks just watch any of the envelope stack videos and you'll see but um, you just cut it to the height then you break out your scoreboard just like I've done on these you break out your scoreboard and you make a line A half an inch in so you're going to go in a half an inch and then you're going to make a mark with your bone folder personally I, I do it this way but half an inch in score it with your bone folder fold it now in this particular case because we're using the cream colored paper and not the black you're going to have to ink it this on this side and on the crease on this side you're going to see both all right and then um I inked the inside of this, but it doesn't look like it's inked very dark, does it? Compared to this crease, it's because it's a crease. I know that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but it is the truth. So that means I'm going to have to ink the back side of this one a little bit more to make them even. 
I came very close to making this into a two-page waterfall instead of the doors that open like the one that Miss P did um, and the one that I've done before, believe it or not, um, in a mini album. Um, but then I decided against it for I don't know exactly which reason. I kind of like the idea still. Um, my pictures are vertical and not horizontal. That's why. I remember why I decided now. If I was just doing a pattern on the front and a place to put photos on the back, like in a photo album, then it wouldn't make any difference. Looks like my pencil might have rolled across there. Try to do as I say and not do as I do in this particular page. I have no idea why I'm having so much trouble. Um, no more trouble. Now, for the two sides, you're going to measure um, the width of this belly band plus another inch and a half. Okay, you want them to overlap and you want the uh, half inch on each one for the flap so that it opens and folds for the hinge. Now, we do the same thing with this. We score it in at the half inch. Only on this one, we're going to take our corners and you're just going to cut it out like this a little bit because when we put our paper on, When we put our paper on, the paper is going to cover it, except if it sticks all the way up. You know what I mean? If it's square and you see it, then you'll see it in the corner. And it just makes it look more finished if you don't see it in the corner. Now, uh, these are not exactly the full height. Um, I think in Miss Peace they are. On um, this one, I decided not to. It just happened to work out that way. All right, so we've got a left and a right. On the left, we're going to put a magnet on the back. We're going to put a magnet on the back of this page immediately after, so I don't forget. Okay, once we put the left and the right on, and we put the magnet on so we don't forget, then we're going to uh, glue this paper in, which I cut a new paper, and, and I found a way to repurpose the one that I had to take off because since I resized the belly band, then I needed a new size um, of this paper, which I really like this paper. I'll say it one more time. I really like this paper. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take our glue. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. I've already inked everything. Aren't you guys glad? Okay. So we're going to uh, take our glue, we're going to run a bead along here. Now remember, we're going to glue the paper over it so it doesn't, excuse me, so it doesn't have to be super, super, you don't want to make a big mess of it, basically. And you want to try not to have any gushing out the ends. However, remember, it is um, construction. So um, you might want to make sure you've got enough glue on there. So now let's kind of center it, top and bottom. Plus, what I was thinking was that since we're leaving a little bit of margin on the paper, that we could, um, if we lined it up correctly, we could get the papers to line up. That's my thought. So now this looks a little crooked to me. Okay. Now the only trick to this is to get the right one lined up with it. So you're going to glue it. You might want to put a little bit more glue on this one so you can kind of slide it around a little bit. And I inked the belly band as well. Um, I forgot 
and I inked it after the fact. If that happens to you, then just pull it up and you should have plenty of room to ink it. Um, you can ink, you'll can you ink it a little bit less because you don't want to take a chance on getting it on the paper. But most of that's going to be covered anyway. So you see how that opens and closes now. And you want one longer than the other because we want them to overlap or make them the exact same length but longer than what they need to be, which is what I believe I did. Okay, so let's put glue on this one. I can't believe I gagged myself with my own Febreze. Okay. You want to open this up to put it down, but then we're going to need to um, we're going to need to close this one so that we can line them up. I can't believe something went correct. I'm going to open the inside because I did put a little extra glue on this. Make sure no glue smooched out. If it does, just get a dry wet wipe, a clean one, obviously, and then wipe along and it will pick up the glue for it. It also helps you push down too at the same time to make sure everything stays down. Okay, so now all we need to do here is put our paper down. And you can see you're still going to see the edges, but it isn't going to be quite so bad. Um, you're going to see them a bit. I wish I had made this paper a little bit wider. I am not cutting a third one, even though I have a third one. Don't ask me how I ended up with a third one. Because I thought I was going to have to cut pockets out of it. I'd like it to come closer and cover the um, cover this up a little bit more. And I'd like it to go a little bit higher. So, let's take our pencil. We want it to be just a little bit above this, not the pocket, but this. Okay, so let's cut that first. I've been having crazy trouble with my glue. I did refill it as well. Like I promised I would. Look at all these paper clips hanging around. Okay. So let's cut that. Remember when you make your pencil marks, depending on how thick your pencil is, that you might want to line it up with the center of your mark okay everybody say it at once don't forget you have to ink it again now <laughs> and here you thought I was done with that oh no okay so you got that there and that there And we want this just a little bit in, right about where that 5 is. If I cut this wrong, we'll go back to the old page. <laughs> okay. I know, you know, you would not believe how many of these I have. And you would not believe how many <laughs> I 
was having a bit of a trouble in the break. Now, let's see if this isn't a little bit better. But just think of, I could make a collage just out of this page's papers. Cut that off a little bit so it fits in my scrap bucket. Okay. Everything has to fit into the scrap bucket. Okay, so now let's take a look at this. Oh yeah, that's much better. Yep, much better. Okay, let's ink it. Then we're going to have to cover all this with paper. Magnets on next. Let's keep saying that out loud. We're putting the magnets on next because we want to cover the magnet. And I've arbitrarily decided that the left side is going to be on top. Doesn't matter. I'd like to put the writing right side up though. Okay. So let's glue this. Let's move this <laughs> and this. Mark this as the top. Yep. Now you could have put the um, What was I going to say? You could have put the magnet on the back of here and the magnet on here. Either way would have worked. Okay? See how much quicker that goes when there's actual glue coming out? At least I'm talking to you guys because I can't listen to my audiobook right now. So we're just having a chat. <laughs> okay, writing side up. Lay the paper in there. Covering up all the corners. Much neater, much nicer. There's our center. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is take our two magnets, which we know work. Okay. And if you want to get these apart, then you want to slide them apart. It's the easiest way. I have to get some new ones pretty soon. Can't believe I went through this whole box of magnets. Of course, now that does have a lot of padding around it. Okay, so let's make sure because of our overlap. Really, I think if I put it right on there, it'll work. You want to put it back far enough that um, it, it doesn't bend the paper along the edge. The thickness of it, even though these are only one mil thick. Okay. Now we're going to close this. We're going to flip it over. I'm going to see where it wants to live. Decides that's its neighborhood. Good schools. Friendly neighbors. Can't rip the tape. Okay, and then we're just going to tape it down right here. 
and you see what it says right on here magnet to match the flap now So now we're going to do the papers on here. The only reason I didn't do them ahead of time is because I wanted to torture you. No, that's not why. Because of the patterns on the paper. Now, on this I'm going to use the center flower. Um, and on this I'm going to use the edge of this. is going to be taken off. And I want to use the edge of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. So let's measure how far that is without our pencil in our mouth. I know you guys had your pencils in your mouth too. Stop it. Bad habit. Dirty pencil. Okay. So this came out to ten and a half. That's going to be five and a quarter. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that this Blue Mementos kit, or all the Journal Boat kits, um, are beautiful, first of all. But the other thing is that they're in UK measurements. So if you want to, you'll notice part of the lace is cut off on this side. If you need to have, I'm just using the center so it doesn't matter. If you want to have the lace all the way around, say maybe you're using the lace part and you're cutting it out or you're using the whole page and you don't want the lace cut off, then you want to uncheck the fit to page because what that does is it brings the picture up and out and up and down to fit the whole page with just that short border. If you don't do that, then you're going to have a larger border on the top and the bottom to take into account the difference in the UK size papers. So that's my paper tip for today. Terry's paper tip. Okay, so now I really like this one. So I want it for the top. So now, as you can see, if I want the eggs, and I do, then I need to cut both sides off. And I don't mind losing part of this. Definitely want to keep the word notes. So I think I'm going to move it over a little bit more. So let's mark it here, a little ways in. Here, a little ways in from the edge. And then we'll trim this. Lining up our wire. Center of the pencil line. There's two good pages pieces for my collage. Now, you guys don't have to make a collage at the end of every project. That's just me. I do that. Um, so let's set that to the side. And we'll set this to the side for right now. Get our ruler out of the way. We're going to use our paper cutter here in just a second. But we'll move it out of the way too. Now, I could just put this here and measure and cut off the bottom but I really um, like the top, the bottom better than the top so I'm going to put this in a little bit now you could do the same thing that I did um, in fact I really want it to be a little more balanced the picture so let's do the same thing here let's go in a little bit from the top now remember Wherever you cut the picture on this half, that's going to have the picture is going to have to line up on this half. Okay? So just remember that. Yes, I have my pencil in my mouth just after I just said not to do it. So you're definitely going to have to do as I say. And not as I do. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, there we go. Two more pieces for the bin. All right, I'll see how I did. Okay. A little small, but okay. So now on this, we're going to be using the center. So I'm thinking to myself, we could probably make sure they're the same size by using this paper. Now, we're probably going to want the tan to be equal or equidistant from the top and the bottom. So I'm also having to look at the lace. It is a little taller than I thought it was going to be. I thought I could go from the bottom of the lace to the top of the lace on this end. But we want this to be the same height. And then we'll deal with the width. I didn't go right through the center of my pencil mark, so hopefully that will not be too big of a deal. Where's my other pencil mark? Well, isn't that dandy? Now, in this particular case, we want to cut just above the pencil mark. Okay. So now we gonna we're gonna <laughs> put this in the center. And let's try to get all the brown in, or at least brown on either side. And then we're just going to slide this down just a little bit. And that way we can mark the exact width. We don't have to go in a little bit. Remember we've already gone in a little bit on the blue one. So let's cut there. So that worked out pretty well. It's a little off, but then again, I'm a little off. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. So now this one that I chose for the back side of these is going to be easier. I promise. So this one's going to go on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to perfumes and stuff. And normally Febreze doesn't bother me, but I didn't think the one I had made was strong enough, so I put some more of those little those little downy and snobbables in there. And I just want to make sure they're the same height. Obviously it's gonna go underneath. Well looky do. And we need to decide, yes, there's definitely a top and a bottom. Top, and obviously a top and a bottom. Top. Okay. 
So let's glue this. No, no. What do we have to do? Everybody say it at once. We have to ink them now that we've cut them. You've probably heard it before. If you cut it, you ink it. It knocks that white. You see how you can see the white core? And now if you look at it here, it's not white. Well, this is a little bit lighter color, I think, than I should have gone. I should have gone one shade darker. Um, maybe scattered straw. I don't think I would have gone as dark as antique photo. Some people would. I mean, vintage photo. I like antique photo better, but that's why I keep calling it that. I like that sound. When you get to the corner. I don't know why. Someone commented that they um, feel like the uh, sound of the uh, inking is soothing. So I've decided to let them come to my house and ink all of my pages because we want everyone <laughs> to be calm and relaxed. You do not want anybody to feel the stress I felt last night trying to get the belly band to work and it was so silly I, I mean it was just the dumbest thing I finally ended up making it a different size I was not going to cut one more piece of cream colored paper that's the noise I just love these eggs there's a piece of ephemera that comes with this that is the um, eggs as well. I'm not going to tell you where that image comes from. Can't get, give away sources. Okay, we're going to have to pause and start a new video. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, have I inked all the way around? Doesn't look like I. Yep. 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 Okay. So now we're going to glue our papers on. We're almost done. No, we're not. <laughs> this is going to be a heavy page. So let's put some glue on this, which is the best way to glue it on in my personal opinion. I don't think licking it <laughs> would glue it on. Plus it probably wouldn't taste very good. Okay, let's glue this on. Now remember probably should have glued the other one on first and I'll tell you why because we need to match them up height wise so what's going to happen is that it's going to be more difficult by not doing the bottom one first but magnets holding it shut but um who am I but not to make things more difficult. What I'm going to do is not put my arm on it, plus with the magnet. And I'm going to make a little pencil mark to guide me. And then I can come back and erase it. So I'm going to open this, glue this. You can see there's a little bitty pencil mark here and a little bitty pencil mark there. And that tells us um, lining it up to do that.
and I glue inked them both. Yes. Lost my line there for a minute. Okay, not for just a minute. Just smarty pants, all of you smarty pants out there <laughs> that were thinking we knew she was nuts all along. That beep was not the alarm. That beep was my scan and cut turning off because it felt neglected. Okay, well that just worked out too easy. Let's just see if they're even. All right. Okay. Da 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 da. I could have made them both the same, but I didn't want to. However, I am making the backs the same. If I was smart, I would have cut this before I um, glued those on because I would have cut them the same size as the other papers, but it's all right. You can't see them. Um, so let's do our height. Once again, um, this is the different color version of this, which is why I chose it. So I feel like the, um, let's see, there was a top and a bottom, I felt. And I think I just put these pictures on upside down to what I, um, felt was the top of this. So let's look at this. Okay, so now let's mark, no, let's not, let's do it in a minute. Okay, we're gonna mark this. I'm gonna mark it here for the width. And then we're gonna mark it here. Did you see me pause while my brain was working? Okay, let's just remark that all together. I don't see the other mark anyway. Okay, so. Let's just do the width like we did before. And then we'll do the height. How can I lose that mark every time I move? There we go. No. I'm going to mark the width. Remember, this is the part we're not going to use. Okay. And these are our two tops. Okay, so that the papers are going the same way. Okay, we're gonna mark, we're gonna cut this just inside the line, or not inside the line, but um, not down the exact center of the line. We're gonna move it just, just a skosh to the left side of the line. The left, you're still on the pencil mark, but you're not down the center of the pencil mark. Okay. Oh, there's a nice. Could have probably used this to make hidden pockets. All right. Let's make sure these are the same size. Okay. And we'll measure for the height.
by doing them together they will be even she says confidently hopefully my old blade will not fail me now what do we have to do friends and relatives we have to double check Well, that seems a little short, doesn't it? They're the same height. So they're going to seem a little short together. However, this is the way we can fix it. We can, um, no, we can't. We're just going to center it. Okay, I'm going to ink them. Yes, friends and neighbors, we have to ink them. Can't ink them till we cut them. So, unless I was going to cut them ahead of time and not show you how to do it, then you would have had to watch me ink. Now, there is part of a pencil mark there that I need to erase. For some reason in the light that looked pink on the back. Okay. I'm inking both of them before I glue one of them down because I don't want to forget to ink one of them. which I am sad to say has happened before. Do you remember the leftover piece from here, from the wrong size? Do you remember that piece? Well, we're gonna reuse it. We're gonna rescue it. We're gonna rescue it from the bin Okay, this is the top. We want to mark our. T oh, I cut the top off on both. Imagine that. What are the odds? Okay, so. Well, we're not going to see them together. So let me arbitrarily decide. I think this seems right side up. Let's glue them on. And at this point, it doesn't matter left to right. You just want to make sure that you have the appearance of them being equal in height. And you want the paper to be straight. Okay. I'm going to move this up a little bit. They are going to have a pocket on the bottom. The pocket's not going to cover this part, though. Okay. 
I'm calling it. So, I think that looks pretty. And personally, I don't care what you think. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Okay, it's true. No. <laughs> All right, it is true. No, it's not. Now, if you were making a mini album, you would have probably put cream colored paper here or white if you're using black um, so that people have places to put their photos. Since we're not, we're not. As you can tell by the scraping noise, I'm not just slathering ink all the way down. I have it tipped to the side a little bit. So you want to look back and forth. Make them even. Make sure that you've covered your magnet area well. See that is popping up just a little bit. And pull this back. Put a little extra glue right in here. That'll hold it down better. And let's use our bone folder. Try not to use it over the magnet too much. You do have a teeny bit of glue coming out. I got a little carried away. Check my bone folder for glue. Okay, so we've got that done. So now all that we have left is to uh, make and glue on some pockets. So, well, that's not true either. Um, so, we are going to make a pocket on this side that matches this, and the pocket on this side that matches that. Now, maybe I got a little carried away with my happiness. Because this is not going to be wide enough. Okay, I am going to look at this one. I don't think it's any bigger than this one. Actually, it's actually a little bit shorter. So let me find a paper that I can use. To make pockets out of. Yes, I accidentally printed it twice. Um, you know, I've got enough of this that I could make two pockets and make hidden pockets. Um, let me put you on hold while I take a look. Okay, so in the interest of time, I went ahead and cut the pockets. They're just squares. Okay, rectangles. And what I did was I had another piece of this paper and I cut them uh, the same, the correct width, and then I cut them three inches high. Since this is so tall, um, a two inch pocket would have been just too short, in my opinion. Okay, so I've inked them. We're just going to glue them on. I marked the top. You'll notice that this is the opposite of this. And this is the opposite of that. I thought I was being slick. Um, you'll notice they're off a little in color. One was printed with a different printer than the other. Um, yeah. So, since they're opposites, it shouldn't be an issue. I marked the tops. 
Then we're going to make writing cards, but I'm not going to make you watch me cut out rectangles and glue them to cream colored paper. You guys um, can look at the uh, page three video on that if you're not sure how to glue it onto a um, I also inked them it looks like this one might be a skosh short but I really don't mind it's all right Having a little bit of that blue show on either side is fine with me. Okay, we're going to glue this one. Then we're going to glue it to the page and we're going to call it done. What do you guys think? So it's been a long video. This is a little bit of an involved page, even though it looks like, okay, two flaps on the thing. But you have to make them fit you know what I mean on the belly band and um, you got to put the magnets in and then um, you know you have to color cut all the other stuff and um, now this one's a little wide well there you go okay move it up just a smidge because I did that on the other one okay so now for the writing cards just to show you in this kit there's a page that's a writing page so all you're gonna do is take this writing page and one from each side you're going to measure out a card it's narrower than this pocket so it will slide down inside then you're going to glue it to the cream colored paper don't forget um, you want to leave a little bit of a margin so I would actually cut the cream colored card first for the writing card and then cut this and then glue it on so I've changed my mind um, about the order that we want to do it in um, Let's see how tall of a writing card do we want. We want one about this high. So let's cut that across. I can show you this real quick. We just don't have to do with all that gluing and such. Cutting and gluing and inking. So I'm going to cut it at that height. Then I'm going to want the card to be a little bit narrower than the pocket. Now you're going to want to measure this and make sure it fits um, before you glue this paper on. I believe the battery has now gone down on my fire tablet. Okay, so I'm going to want to glue this or cut this here, I believe. We may have to trim it down. We'll probably have to trim it down. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to trim it down. That's going to slide in there, just like that. Now, we're going to have to cut it a little bit shorter because of the glue in the bottom. I think I might take a sixteenth off the edge. Just because you're going to have it backed. If you want to uh, double side print this, you won't have that problem. Um, I just forgot. I could probably run it through the printer right now um, and fix that problem. Don't forget to ink them. Okay. 
and remember you don't want to put them in the pocket while the glue's still wet. We're just measuring and we're going to take it right back out. All right, we're going to glue the height just a little bit below the color. So we're leaving margins around everything. You're going to ink, 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 ink after you glue a piece on here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make another card this size. So then you know that they're the same. up showing you didn't I well because once I thought about it I realized there might be a little bit more to it okay so we're going to take these and erase that and I'm going to, since the sides have this parchment cut off, I'm going to um, glue this. Where's the little wrinkly part cut off? I'm just going to cut it off. So I don't have to worry about it. Then I can take it to the, on the bottom on the corner and we're going to want it a little bit below the edge okay And you don't have to do it this way. You can just cut um, two pieces of paper that are going to work. Um, geez, need a new blade. Scrunching off fluffies. Um, and now you can't just glue this to this. Well, you can. Actually, I'm just going to do it that way because we already made this the right size. So let's just glue it on here. And then we'll ink them. To tell you the truth, I'm not really wild about that paper. There is a possibility that I'm going to go back and glue another paper over the top of that. I'm just not wild about the way they look together except it kind of looks like the flower grows out from here. So I guess that's okay. Okay, so we're just going to glue this on here. Just going to glue it on there. And that's right, we were leaving a little bit of a border. I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. And then if you want to save time, glue the other one on the other end. 
and I'm not going to show you that because we're out of time. And then you just want to cut it off. And then you're going to ink them, and then you'll have your writing cards for your pockets. Just want to cut it across here. And we're going to trim this little part off. Let's look at it from the paper side. Not so bad having a little edge along there, but I doubt we can match it on both cards. Okay. So you're just going to ink this or redo it if you take a big chunk out with a bad blade. Anyway, so and then you're going to have your cards for inside your pockets. And then we're going to glue this to the page. Actually, then we're not done. Okay, we're going to have to take another section. Okay, so we're going to um, ink this card. If we're going to do it. We might as well do it. Or we don't have to ink them. We'll just say you're going to glue this one on the back of the paper. to match. This one's going to be off a little bit too, so kind of glue inside just a little bit. I'm going to have to trim it. Actually, we don't, do we? Because I already trimmed the other side. <laughs> well, me and my brain, we have a love-hate relationship. I love to hate it. Okay, now we're just going to cut this off. Look at this. It's going through the two pieces. Now, personally, I would stencil these as well with the stencil of your choice, unless you like. Oh, let's trim that just a little bit. Oh, here we go. rescue this writing card rescue sort of like bar rescue okay. so this one seems to be a little bit wider so maybe I can get rid of that shredded side works for me you can still see the cream a little bit on here. So let's get one completely done. And we'll trim the other one to match. Can't believe I can't cut two rectangles. Oh, that's very, very close. 
think I'm just going to leave it before I press my luck. And then all you need to do is ink them. <laughs> kind of looks like it's supposed to be together, doesn't it? They're meant for each other. So then you would ink them. And like I said, I would stencil them in maybe a, the cornflower blue, if you have that such color. Okay, so those writing cards are gonna go there. This is gonna close like this, and now we're gonna glue this to the page. I forgot about that part. That's why I went ahead and started a new section. I almost go, this page is done. this out of the way with all of its 50,000 pages now that I accidentally printed it twice. I'm telling you I had a time with this page and I'm really not sure why. Um, actually, I'm going to um, put an eyelet on here and add a charm. See the video from page 3 on how to do that? Um, we're outrageously over time so I'm not going to show you but um, I'll pick out one that goes with this if there is such a thing okay let's bring Mr. Black over let's not let's glue it first let's mark our top Now let's glue it. I know I'm moving a little quick, but this is just such a long video. And I know you, but we do want to do it right. So don't get me wrong. You know, correctness is important as well. However, you're going to pause this and do it and then pause this and do it and pause this and do it. So I'm just assuming. And of course, with the charm in the middle, it's going to add to the thickness of the page. I really don't know what we're going to do with poor Mr. Black to hold him closed. And a couple pages I've gotten these black scuff marks on. And I did finally figure out how I was doing that. I have a mini album and it's got a black cover and I set it down on it with the page open and that's how I ended up in that predicament. Now I'm planning on putting cream colored pages on here so that the journal can be written in. I don't write in journals. This may be a gift, you never know. I may sell it. I don't know what I would charge for it, but I know that it takes me at least a day to do each page because I have to do all the planning. Okay, so here's our page. All right, so we've got this. Opens with a pocket and a writing card. We have this that opens with the writing card this is our center. This whole thing is a belly band. You could make a writing card to slide under here, or you could leave it for the person to decide what they want to slide under there. But then again, they may not know that it's a belly band if you don't put a writing card in there. So I would suggest a writing card and uh, rounding the corners on the writing card. But that's just me, and I wouldn't make it too thick. I would not necessarily back it like we did here. Okay, so that's our page, 
and I will see you in the next really long video. <laughs> and that will be just a second for you. And actually, honestly and truly, a day for me. Bye-bye.